Hi, my name is Chi Pham, and I'm a senior researcher under Professor Yin's research group at the University of California, Riverside. And my interest is on nanomaterial. Uh, what nanomaterial is, is pretty much simply material between 1 nanometer and 100 nanometer. And I know the average person does not know how big that is. So just to give you an idea, it's your, the width of your the human hair is about 100,000 nanometer, and so that's pretty small. Um, so you ask, why am I interested in doing nanomaterial research? Well, basically, nanomaterial has very different and interesting properties compared to the bulk size material, and today I'm going to show you an example. Okay, so if I ask you, what is the color of silver? I know most people are going to say either gray, white, or even shiny silver, but actually when you shrink it down on the nano scale, it's, it can have many different shades of red, green, blue, purple, or even yellow. And okay, let's get started. Okay, so after 30 minutes, this is what we get. Kind of bluish, greenish color. It's kind of dark. And to get this color, I had to put a certain kind of, a certain concentration with a certain amount in it. But in order to get different colors, we have to vary the concentration and ratio of chemicals to put in. After many, many runs, uh, I did just that. And this, these are the colors. This one right here is the one we just did, and these four I did prior to that. So that's part of my research here, is to basically find the conditions and concentrations to control the exact color. So this little experiment was just to show you that silver can come in many different colors and not just the white or silver. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.